guys, happy Sunday. I'm wearing a Totoro t-shirt this morning. We're over here in Whole Foods. I'm over by the beverages. And Republic of Tea has these little single sips. I've never seen these. They have an apple cider vinegar cranberry hibiscus. 25 calories. Um, it's sweetened with monk fruit. Has anybody tried these? Get smart tea. Hey, that has a uh, Centella Asiatica in it. <laughs> Go to Cola. I'm not a fan of rooibos teas. These are Be Well teas. Are these good? Check out the Whole Foods coffee. French truck. Premium New Orleans dark roast. Is this a chicory coffee? I know those are popular in New Orleans. Like uh, the Cafe du Mont um, chicory coffee. I like chicory coffee, but sometimes it kind of feels, makes my stomach a little acidic. Um, Allegro coffee is really good. That's what they serve here. I, I've always enjoyed it. $9.99 on sale. Oh, iHerb has these tea chinos. Have you guys ever had these? Um, they have like a chocolate one on iHerb too. That look good. These are chicory coffees, the tea chinos. No caffeine. I might have to try those sometime. I hear they're good. Hey guys, so what'd you get this morning? Well, I think I managed to put five pounds of delicious food in here. <laughs> but you got your great I love leaves. the great I those in a while. I just love those babies. Yeah, they are. And then they had this interesting um, crunchy chickpea salad with cucumber. Uh huh. So I had to have some of that. And then there's a corn salad under there. Mm -hmm. um, I started out with black beans and cauliflower rice. Uh -huh. And then I put a couple platanos in there and some potatoes. And uh, it's, it's pretty hefty. <laughs> How's and your coffee? coffee? It's okay. Do you put almond milk in it? I or? put almond milk, vanilla powder, and cinnamon. Ooh. I got rice cauliflower and um, some tofu scramble and I just topped it with, oh there's a little bit of arugula in there as well. I topped it with um, dried apricots, sesame seeds, both white and black sesame seeds, turmeric, uh, peanuts, and black pepper. And, oh, there's also a little bit of salsa in there. So, um, kind of a medley. I forgot to add, I did put some uh, baked tofu cubes in mine mm. also. So there's a lot You're in here. You're set. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Tybee really enjoyed those Riley bones. Yeah. You know, I ate one, and they're delicious. Yeah, they are good. They're fit for human consumption. They're, really they're just good. Um, sweet potato and coconut. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato, cinnamon, oh, oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah, that's so tasty. So this shirt that I have on is actually a dress that has pockets in it, but it kind of looks like a nightgown. Um, it kind of looks like a nightgown when I wear it that way, so I have it tucked into my shorts a little bit so it looks like a t-shirt. But it's so hot. This is the perfect kind of thing to wear. It's a nice cotton. Yeah, yeah, it's really comfortable. And I also have a matching Totoro coin purse. I'm totally Totoro. You just need your mug and you'd be all set to go. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> How are your grape leaves? Well, I don't know. Let's see. People always ask what they're stuffed with. Do you want to uh, take elaborate? So they can see. I'm not sure if there. it's rice or cauliflower. Maybe. Rice, rice, herbed rice. It's, they're good. Yeah. They had your um, falafel too. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to get that. Yeah, when we shot, when we eat here, I use the uh, Drop app, and so I. It's this app that I've been using and I get points and then the points you can cash in for uh, gift cards for more purchasing. <laughs> and so I've racked up quite a few points. I can get them here or Walgreens, Trader Joe's. 
Bath and Body Works. Yeah, I'll send you the link. It's pretty handy. I'm here in Walgreens and they have this brand I've never seen before of uh, Lux Beauty Hair Care called Cake. It's, um, I think, all cruelty free, cruelty free and vegan. Um, they have a shampoo and a conditioner. I'm kind of in the market for a new one. I've been using the um, I Restore shampoo and conditioner. I just finished it. Um, so, and it was really nice. But you guys know I, I like to change out my shampoo and conditioner a fair amount. They also have a moisture melt hair mask called the Smooth Move. These look promising. Of course, they all have fragrance in them. Hair care products are really nearly impossible to find fragrance free. And personally, I like the shampoos to smell fruity. It's a weakness I have. They also have these dry shampoo sheets on the go. Dry shampoo, unfortunately, will dry out your hair shaft quite a bit. And it also can contribute to uh, folliculitis in the scalp, those little itchy bumps, and seborrhea or dandruff, oily scalp, because um, it just creates like this filminess and doesn't really remove the sebum from your scalp. The sebum just kind of saturates in the talc or whatever's in the, the drying, whatever the drying agent is. See here, it's like cellulose. It just kind of makes this this powdery cakey film on your scalp that can cause a lot of scalp problems. So I don't recommend dry shampoo, but I know it's really popular in preserving the hairstyles. Ooh, the locksmith. Totally to die for hydrating dry conditioner. Now this is new. I've never heard of a dry conditioner before. The first ingredient is alcohol denaturant. How is that conditioning? <laughs> Um, it also has olive oil in it and argan oil and coconut oil. Now, coconut oil in your hair is good. I have a video talking about why coconut oil is good for your hair. Uh, it reduces hygral fatigue because it actually can penetrate the hair shaft. I'm kind of interested in this cake stuff. What's the posh wash? Oh, that's a shampoo. Sulfate free. I have a video on sulfates, by the way. Um, SLS, not the devil. Um, but I do talk about sulfates and shampoos as well in that video, so check that out. But what else do they have here? The curl whip. This is a mousse. Be careful though, mousse hair care products like that, they um, can form a, a film on your skin and lead to acne like rashes. Uh, classically, that was always seen with hair pomades, it's called pomade acne. Um, but you can get it with mousse and gels and things like that. It's a combination of the uh, stuff that helps it hold onto the hair, sticks onto your, your skin, is very occlusive, plus the fragrance um, is irritating around the pore of the skin, and then the um, it's kind of that combination of the fragrance, the occlusivity, and the oils of your skin, they co combine together, become very irritating, and can lead to acne-like rashes. Closed comedones on the forehead is a classic example, or around the sides of the face. That is another classic example of hair care product-related acne exacerbations. I mentioned yesterday how La Roche Posay USA has the one sunscreen with Mexerol in it. It's this one, SPF 15. And I think it's only 15 because La Roche Posay USA can't, doesn't have as many filters as La Roche Posay um, in other, other countries in, Europe, in the European market. Or, um, so they can't, they can't get the good broad spectrum coverage with this. Plus, the FDA limits uh, avabenzone to, I believe, 3%, whereas in other places you can get to 3.5 and 4%, so it allows you to get more, more broad spectrum. Plus, the U.S. doesn't allow a combination of uh, chemical and mineral chemical and mineral in one. It doesn't allow a combination, excuse me, of avabenzone and mineral actives based on that theoretical uh, in vitro stuff. So that also kind of ties the hands of the manufacturer in creating a broad spectrum uh, sunscreen. Vichy stuff here. I know you all are a fan of Vichy. Vichy always puts fragrance and stuff. They've got, oh look, a vitamin C serum. Who doesn't? Um, you, you all, 
no, my that to me all vitamin C serums. I can't really say anything unique about any of them. Uh, does this one have fragrance in it? It appears to be fragrance free. So that's nice. Vichy also has a retinol with hyaluronic acid. Does that have fragrance in it? Yeah, they put fragrance in the retinol. That's not a good combination. Um, that the fragrance will cause vasodilation and irritation, which is the opposite of what you want when you're doing uh, vitamin A derivatives. Even retinol, which retinol is not as good as retinoid because it's not as biologically active, but it does it can potentially work. Um, it's just not. I'm just not. It, it's just harder to be as confident in retinol than than retinoid. Uh, but it, it, it can work. That being said, if you use it in the presence of fragrance, it can be very much more irritating and, and cause problems. Yeah, I like this. This Vichy um, rehydrating cream would be nice if they didn't put fragrance in it. It has shea butter in it, and it also has um, hyaluronic acid. So you all always ask about the number seven products, and a lot of them have fragrance, so check to see if it has fragrance. But one that doesn't, that um, I've shown in other videos, it's pretty good, and I have dot, dotted here on my hand from the tester, is their Sika Rescue. Yeah, it's got Medecacide in it, or Centella Asiatica, but I don't think it's nearly as nice as the La Roche-Posay one. It's kind of pilly, but they both have the same kind of purpose of healing. Yeah, Sika comes from the, uh, is derived from the French word for healing. Yeah, the number seven products are kind of expensive. Like this dark spot corrector is just a licorice root extract, which can definitely brighten, but the physician's formula uh, vitamin uh, booster drops also have licorice root in them, and they're 10 bucks, I wanna say. This is, this is 30 bucks, that's expensive, yeah. But this one is fragrance free, so you know you could give that a whirl. But I believe their day cream has fragrance in it. I'm almost certain it does. I don't recommend their replenishing facial oil. Um, it's jojoba oil, which is more than fine, but it's jojoba oil plus fragrance, which is just a perfume oil recipe for oxidation, degradation, irritation, station. <laughs> Uh, jojoba oil is fine on skincare. Um, you know, you could just use plain jojoba oil if that was motivating, and not or plunk down twenty two ninety nine for a potential irritation station here. So I don't recommend that. Oils though, by themselves, just putting them on your skin. I mean, they're emollients, but they don't really do a good job as moisturizers because they don't really seal in hydration, slow down transepidermal water loss to a significant degree. Oh dear, what's the youthful eye serum entail? A lot of times the eye products they at least leave fragrance out of. This is hyaluronic acid, so humectants, and Saccharomyces extract, which is rich in humectants. This might actually be pretty good, aside from the fact that they should just make this a moisturizer for your entire face instead of making all these other screwy, dinky moisturizers that are laden with fragrance. But the flippity flappity is the microdermabrasion exfoliator. Just water? Oh, and aluminum. So, aluminum particles. Hey, Tybee! We missed you so hey, much! Hey, little boy! Hey! Hey, you excited to see Totoro? Did you watch cartoons? Well, he had his relaxing music on, but I guess that's still playing now. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's go toy out box. And walk about, <laughs> Doing my dance. Uh, downward dog. Oh, downward, downward dog. dog. <laughs> Ivy's watching. What is this? Uh, raw homemade dog food. Ivy's watching the, the Doggy Food Network. Uh, menu from Mars. Oh, little boy, give me a kiss. <laughs> You want to dance? Time. You want to dance? <laughs> <laughs> Little boy. Yeah, let's go. Well, hey guys, what's up? I, I'm back and just got out of the shower. Update on my hair sleeping situation. I know that sounds odd. I mentioned a few weeks ago how I've really been um, sleeping well on my sleeping pillow, the sleep and glow pillow, sleep and glow pillow. Uh, it's kind of got like a neck support thing and it's made out of memory foam. 
Um, but one thing that my, now my hair is getting long, I kind of like lay on my hair sometimes and it's uncomfortable. And so I mentioned in that video when I was updating you on that, how I was looking for some sort of silk hair wrap to keep my hair up and cut down on hair breakage. And somebody said you should get a silk pillowcase. I did. There is a silk pillowcase on that, um, but it doesn't, that doesn't keep me from like laying on my hair. So that, that's what I wanted the bonnet for. Anyway, long story short, some very nice viewer uh, sent me one of these from Amazon. It kind of looks like a pair of, <laughs> of underwear, <laughs> but it's awesome. Um, and I've been using it, it's wonderful. And uh, all you do is put it on and like put your hair up inside of it and tie it. And it's really comfortable. It keeps me from laying on my hair at night. And then when I take it off in the morning, my hair is not all bird's nesty uh, or frizzled. So that's great. Um, these are really wonderful. I think they're pretty inexpensive. They, there's some kind of like magic conditioning agent in it. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but on the packaging, we're touting that it's like, like, conditioning for the hair and that you're only supposed to use it for like a limited amount of time and then you're supposed to get rid of it. So comment below, those of you who use these, is that truly the case? It actually specified that you store it in the little bag that it came in. And of course, after I read that, I was like, oh, I already threw the bag out um, because it didn't really seem like something that you would keep, but um, I guess I was supposed to keep that. But anyways, yeah, it's specified not to wash it either, that you would ruin the magic, or that you would like ruin the fabric somehow. So um, I guess you're just supposed to use it for a limited engagement and then dispose of it and get another one. Um, so I don't know if you, is that true? Is that how these work? I'm not entirely sure, but long story short, it really works quite well and I've been, elated with it. You know, a lot of women um, don't like wash their hair daily. Like I'm, I know I'm, I'm a rare bird because I shampoo my hair daily and I get away with it. But many women don't. Many women go and get their hair styled and blow dried and whatnot and they like kind of want to preserve it. Um, so I imagine that this would really help you out in that situation. I mean, I think that's what it's intended for, but um, it does kind of look like what, like some sort of funny underwear. Am I the only one who sees this? I don't know. I mean, I have it laying here in my bed. I'm like, it's a good thing I like, I don't know, if somebody walked in here and be like, um, do you sleep underwear laying around? Um, yeah, that's a little hair care update. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.